guys so i wanted to go over some problems on uh number 019 this is the segment edition practice um because a lot of people were asking and so i'm going to go over problems number one three number eight and then i'm going to go over nine fourteen and fifteen i've got them circled on here so i know which ones i'm going to go over so as a review segment edition is just saying uh, the segment edition postulate sorry is just saying that if you have one entire segment and you split it up into two smaller segments, the length of the big segment is going to be the sum or the two smaller segments added together. So if LM, so if this part right here is 22, okay, and then from M to N here is 15, number one is telling us to find LN, so we're looking for the entire length. So if we know that the this part of the segment is 22, we can add that to this part. We know it's 15 in order to figure out the entire length. So 22 plus 15 is going to give us 37. So you just added them together. Now this is similar. We know from R to T is 36. Well, this one right here, the big one, this RT, which we're going to write as 36, it's going to be equal to these two parts added together. So we're going to take this 6x plus 1, we're just going to add it to the x plus 7. The big segment, the largest segment, is equal to the smaller segments that make it up added together. So now we can add the ones with x together, ones without x together. So we get 6x plus x is going to be 7x. 7 plus 1 gives us positive 8. We'll subtract the 8 to the other side. Okay. And that is going to give us 28 on this side. Equals 7x. And then if we divide by 7, that's going to give us 4 for x. So again, as long as you pay attention to the fact that the long segment, the entire segment, is the sum of the smaller segments that make it up, that's all you have to know. So we'll go down to number eight now, okay? So this one is actually asking us to find AB. So it says BD is congruent to BC. So the main thing to focus on here, if you have this little congruent thing, they're the same, they're equal. You can put an equal sign between them. So from B to D, I'm gonna put a little mark there, is congruent to B, C. So they're the same, they're equal to one another. Okay, so this length here from B to D is the same as the length from B to C. From B to D, it says is 5X minus 26. See if I can write. And then from B to C is 2x plus 1. Okay? Then from A to C, so this entire length here, is 43. Okay? Well, we see that these two are the same. If we have this little congruent symbol, that means they're equal to each other. So we can go ahead and write that BD is equal to BC. We know that BD is this 5x minus 26. Since they are congruent, we can put an equal sign in between them and solve for that. And then from B to C is 2x plus 1. Okay, I'm going to add the 26 to the other side, leaving us with 5x on this side, plus 27. Okay, we'll need the 2x on the other side with that 5x, giving us 3x is equal to 27. And then if we divide by 3, we get that x is equal to 9, but it's asking us for the length of AB. Okay, so we're looking for this length here. So we know that this AC, this entire length, okay, is going to be equal to this part right here that I've got marked off, AB, plus this part right here that we don't have, or that we have here, BC, this little part here, okay? We know that from A to C is 43. We can replace that, substitute it in. We're looking for AB. And then BC is 2X plus 1. But instead of writing X, we can replace X with 9. 
because we see here that x is equal to 9. Okay? So that leaves us with, oops, that leaves us with 43 equals this AB that we need to solve for. And then 2 times 9 plus 1 is going to be 19. And now we just have to subtract 19 to solve. So 43 minus 19 is going to give us 24. And that's going to be the length of AB. So now if we look at number 9, it seems like it's going to be similar. It tells us that LK, so from L to K, I'm going to go and make a little mark, is the same from M to K. That's what this means. They're the same. They're equal. You can put an equal sign between them. Okay? They're congruent. That's what that symbol means. They're the same length. So from L to K here is 7x minus 10. From K to N, this little part right here, is x plus 3. Okay? From M to N, so this whole line right here, this whole segment, is 9x minus 11. Sorry for my scribbly handwriting. And then from K to J, so this part is 28. Well, since we know that LK and MK are the same, since we have that LK is 7x minus 10, we know that MK is also 7x minus 10. Sorry for the bell. Okay. And now we can look at the fact that MN is going to be MK here plus KN because that's what makes up the entirety of MN from M to K and then from K to N. M to N we've got written as 9x minus 11. We just said that from M to K is 7x minus 10. Then plus KN is x plus 3. We've got written down here. Okay. We'll add the x's together, and we'll add the ones without x together. Keep that the same. 7 plus x, 7x 7 plus x is going to be 8x. Minus 10 plus 3 is going to give us negative 7. I'm going to subtract the 8x to the other side, giving us just x minus 11 equals negative 7. Then I'll add the 11. Okay, giving us x is equal to 4. So we've got x, but we're looking for lj. Okay, so from L to J is going to be the entirety of this length. So we have from L to K, and then from K to J. From L to K is 7x minus 10, and then from K to J we've got is 28. And we know what x is, so we can substitute that in here. So 7 times 4 instead of x minus 10 plus 28, and if we just type that in a calculator, sometimes 4 minus 10 plus 28, that's going to give us 46, and so that's going to be our answer. So just mark up your diagram the best you can and see where it can take you. Now we'll look at numbers 14 and 15. So 14 says that EF bisects CD. So that means from C to D, this is cut in half by this EF. So the each segment that creates on segment CD is going to be the same. It cuts it perfectly in half. It tells us that from C to G is this part is 5x minus 1. From G to D, so the other half, is 7x minus 13. It tells us from E to F, so the entire thing here, is 6x minus 4. And it tells us from g to f, so this part right here, this little part, is just 13. Okay? It's telling us to find eg. So I'm going to start out with the ones that we know are the same. That's always how we're going to do this on these ones. So we know that these two are the same from c to g is the same as from g to d because they're congruent because this line segment bisected it. So we have 5x minus 1 is equal to 7x minus 13. We can just go ahead and solve. I'll move the 1 to the other side. Sorry about that. Giving us 5x equals 7x 
minus 12, and then I'll subtract the 7x to the other side, and you can do this in any way you want to do it as long as you get the right answer, giving us minus 2x equals minus 12. And then if we divide by 2, negative 2, sorry, we got to make sure we get rid of that negative sign 2, we're going to get x is equal to 6. But we're looking for eg. That's what it says. Okay? So from e to g, we don't know what it is. But we know that from e to f is going to be, let's see if I can erase that, from e to f is going to be whatever you get from e to g plus whatever you get from g to f. So the entire segment is equal to the sum of the parts of the segment. e to f we've got written here is 6x minus 4. We're looking for eg. And then from g to f is 13 here. So we can go ahead and solve for this. We know what x is. We can go and plug in that x. Okay, so 6 times 6 is 36, minus 4 is 32, equals this eg plus 13. We subtract this 13. We're going to get that eg is equal to 19. All right, so always mark up your diagram first and then always start with the ones that are equal to each other. They're the same, the ones that are congruent. Okay, so number 15, if R is the midpoint of QS, so from Q to S, R cuts that perfectly in half, so these two are the same. R to S right here, oops, sorry, I keep pushing that button on my pen, is 2x minus 4, okay? S to T, this far right here, is 4x minus 1, and then from r to t, so the entire one of that part, is 8x minus 43. Okay? So, we can look at the ones that are equal, okay? So we know that this is 2x minus 4. We know this one's also going to be 2x minus 4, but that doesn't actually help us solve anything. So if we look for this, we can see that we have that r to t is going to be whatever you get from r to s plus whatever you get from s to t okay that's a plus sign we know that r to t we've got here we know that r to t we wrote here is this 8x minus 43 r to s we wrote here is 2x minus 4 and then from s to t, I didn't mean to put an equal sign, plus st is 4x minus 1, okay? We can take the ones with x together and combine the ones without x as well. So we still have this 4x minus 33, 43 on, 8x minus 43 on this side, oops, can't talk. 2 plus 4 is 6x, minus 1 minus 4 is negative 5. We can add the 43 to that side, giving us eight x equals six x plus thirty eight subtract the six x to the other side gives us two x equals thirty eight and if we divide by, by two we get x is equal to nineteen but we're looking for q s okay from q to s so that's going to be q to r plus r to s, okay? So we got this 2x plus 4 plus 2x plus 4. We know that x is 19. Type that into a calculator. You get 84. I hope that helped. Let me know if you guys have any questions comments, concerns, or anything, and you guys have a great day.